Hello, mahalo. My name's Cameron. This is Turbo Tiki, where we talk about tiki drinks very, 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 very quickly. So today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite drinks. I'm here, to, I'm really here to preach a good word about this one. It's the Mai Tai. It's the classic. Now, first of all, Mai Tai is not a blended drink. You do not go and put it in a blender. You do not put a bunch of fruit in it. You do not get it at a college bar. If you come up to me and you'd be like, hey, why aren't you blending your Mai Tai? Why isn't it red and yellow or whatever? I'll get very, 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 very mad at you. Now, before we get into all these lovely libations and liqueurs, we're going to talk about the history of Tiki because the history of Tiki is fundamental to understanding how a tiki drink is made, what tiki drinks are about, it's just very fascinating. So, post Great Depression, we're talking pre-boomer days, we're talking like 30s. People are just looking for something cheerful to latch on to. And ultimately they decided Polynesian culture was the thing to base their identity and their pop culture around. Now I say Polynesian, but it's really, it's not, it's not super accurate to that part of the world. In 1944, there's this guy, Vic Bergerum, and he took advantage of this whole tiki craze, this whole Polynesian craze, and he created this drink called the Mai Tai, which he served at his famous bar, Trader Vic's, which is located in Emeryville. Now, as the story goes, Vic Bergeron was making drinks and serving them to a couple friends he had visiting from Tahiti. And as soon as they drank it, they exclaimed, Mai Tai, which, uh, which translates, I believe, to the best. So, I mean, it could have been totally made up. Some people say that Vic didn't even invent it, but, uh, now the Mai Tai is a fairly simple drink, but there are a couple little things that you might have to make yourself and you might have to go source that are a little more obscure. But that's the whole fun about Tiki. So to make a Mai Tai, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a Hawthorne strainer. You're going to need a fine mesh strainer. And you're going to need a juicer of some kind. You don't have to have these. But this is just to be funny and cute. But, but at the end of the day, you don't really need these. So we're gonna need one ounce of this delicious Jamaican rum. Then we're gonna need our rum agricole, which is a French style rum from Haiti. I'm gonna use Corsau, also known as triple sec. We're gonna need a half ounce of that. You're going to need orja. This is one of the fancy things. It's a French almond syrup. It's delicious and will make it very silky. You're gonna need one ounce of that. And you're gonna to wanna to get the juice of one lime, which is about an ounce. I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm just gonna put the ounce in. A quick quarter of simple syrup. And we're going to take our shaker glass. Whoa. We're gonna sit that right there and then we're gonna fill this full of ice. Ta-da! Now, we're gonna put this all together and we're gonna shake it. And you want to get it so cold that there's a little bit of condensation, a little bit of frost on the side of the shaker. Oof. And you're going to want to use these two little strainers, put it in there. And now one of the things that makes tiki so interesting is its use of garnishes. And so you can put maybe a little discarded lime bit here and then you wanna get some mint. And then if you look at it from this angle, if you're like a baby or somebody who doesn't know what things look like, it looks sort of like a deserted island. It's very cute. Stick a straw in there. Sort of give it a little stir around. Woo! That's good. That's a little strong though. Don't drink those too fast. Don't, <laughs> don't drink too many of those, okay? 